Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends. In today's video, we will be learning how to add free tasks and pro post tasks to Ansible playbooks. So let's jump into the practical. So here we have an Ubuntu instance on which the Ansible is already installed and we have the super user access to this instance. So the first step would be to create the YAML file. So we will name the YAML file as www.yml. Now in order to create the pre task and post task, there are some parameters which needs to be considered. So we will start from beginning. Now the defining hosts will be www. So the only this task parameters will be applicable on this host. We are also defining a remote user and its name is Vagrant. So you can define the host remote user as per your requirement and states its name here. And we are giving the root access to this user. Now the pre task which we will define in this YAML file will be to shell and it will perform the function of echoing So what this pre-task is basically doing is that it will echo this particular line into the shell access of our remote user. And the role, we also need to define the role within this pre-task. So the role will be Nginx. So the pre tasks are basically used in the YAML configuration or the playbook configuration, which needs to be completed before the initiation of the Ansible playbook file. So once the playbook files get initiated, these are the tasks which needs to be completed first before moving on to any further configuration. Now, while defining the post task, it's important to take care of the underscore sign because without underscore sign, these tasks will not work. So we have to take care of this pre underscore task and post underscore task. Again, we are giving a shell task to echo the line. So this is all about the pre-task definition and post-task definition in the YAML file. So in this, we are printing some messages using the echo command, but we can also create tasks using any of the modules available with Ansible, which can run before or after applying roles. So once we have applied roles, there are many type of configurations that we can use in the in the Ansible playbook files 
as per defined by the modules and this is a basic example of how to define the pre tasks and post tasks and how it works inside the ansible playbook configuration and we can simply save this file now once saved we can simply execute these files according to our needs and that was all for today's video thank you